Hello, this is a short tutorial how to get to a more realistic view of a model in Rhino using the Virtual Shape Research plugin Realtime Renderer 2.0. So I'm starting Rhino first without the plugin and I'm loading a tutorial model which comes with the installation of Rhino. You can see that there's a small bug in the mesh of the camera, which can be corrected by using the mesh option smooth and slower. So this is how the camera looks using the Rhino renderer. I am now going to download and install the VSR plugin Realtime Renderer 2.0. So, going to www.virtualshape.com and entering the download section. And here I'm downloading the renderer plugin. I already downloaded the Realtime Renderer 2.0 add ons before, which is a free library of materials and environments because it's pretty big and therefore takes a bit to download. So I'm starting the real-time renderer installer and accept the license agreement and default path. Uh, this plugin can be tested for free for three weeks after the first installation of the plugin. I am not starting Rhino directly after the installation because I want to install the add-on library first. All right, here we go. So you can see now that the toolbar has been added to Rhino as well as a pull down menu. I am loading the tutorial model again. And again, changing the mesh settings. Right clicking on perspective, you can see a new visualization mode has been added, which is called VSR Real Time Renderer. By clicking on options in the new toolbar, you get a window with a lot of more display options now. I first activate show FPS so you get a frames per seconds information in the down right corner. To smooth edges I activate anti-aliasing. You can see that the light reflection in Rhino is calculated per facet of the mesh, which is not very precise. To get a more realistic display this reflection can be calculated per pixel of the model instead. Next thing I want to change is the environment. So I'm clicking on the environment option and use the library button to import some more environments from the add-on library. The last imported environment is automatically activated. You can see that the camera reflects on the table. The level of reflection can be changed by an option which is available when clicking on the picture in the environment menu. So I'm checking out different environments right now. From the airport environment I also just want to see the ground. I'm clicking on the picture in the environment window to deactivate the display of the side picture. The fact that the red line from the grid is displayed now is a little bug which will be fixed soon. Just checking and unchecking the show grid option lets it disappear again. Now I want to import some additional materials. 
This is possible directly by drag and drop from the material library. The material is automatically imported then. If you want to import several materials at once, just select them with the control key pressed and click on import. I want to assign chrome to the metal parts of the camera. Again, assign it by drag and drop the material on the desired geometry. You can see that the environment reflects on the geometry even if the environment is not displayed. Uh, this can be changed via an additional option also being available when clicking on the picture in the environment menu. Now I want to test several materials on the main part of the camera. Some materials have bump map effects assigned to it. You can see it pretty good on the back of the camera. This effect can be switched on and off by the bump mapping option in the options menu. So I'm just testing some further materials on the camera. Okay, let's stick with the blue. I am now ungrouping geometry because I want to assign the glow effect only on the button below. It could indicate for example a low battery or a recording mode. I am assigning the glow material and switch on the glow option in the options menu. The intensity of the glow effect can be controlled via the glow color slider in the material menu. Another option for realistic display is image-based light. Instead of using single light sources to lighten the geometry, HDRI images can be used to simulate light being emitted from the environment picture. I am now changing the geometry to show that all effects are recalculated in real time. You can easily create hard copies from your geometry by using the snapshot function. Just type in the desired resolution and press OK. And there it is, the picture of your geometry. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. For further questions or suggestions, just contact us. We look forward to hear from you.